I Do Not Like Books Anymore by Daisy Hurst. Natalie and Alphonse really like books and stories. They love picture books with Dad. Now this one, Natalie said. With voices, Alphonse said. They like scary books Mom read when Alphonse was sleeping. And granny stories about Melvin Plantpot and the terrible shrew. And stories they remembered. Or stories they made up. Natalie said, When I can read, I'll have all the stories in the world whenever I want them. And you can read them to me, said Alphonse. Then Natalie got her first reading book. There's a cat in it, said Natalie. I will read it all by myself. But when she opened the book, the letters and words looked like prickles or bird's feet. Miss Bimble, her teacher, said, it just takes practice. She helped Natalie sound out the words. The book was about a cat. The cat could sit. Natalie asked, but isn't it a story? Natalie tried to read the book to Mom. I can't, said Natalie, and nothing even happens to the cat. I like when you and Dad read to me. You will be able to, said Mom. Dad said, and the books will get better. Natalie practiced her reading book all week, again and again and again, until she knew all the words. Now can you read about trains, please? And bears, said Alphonse. You're reading. Natalie said, I can sit. See me sit, as she read her book. But the letters and words in Alphonse's book look like scuttling insects with too many legs and eyes. So Natalie said, no. And then she yelled, I do not like books anymore. I can't learn to read anymore, said Natalie. Sinead is sick and I have to look after her. Poor Sinead, said mom. But you can still learn to read. I don't need to, said Natalie. I can make up my own stories and tell them to Alphonse. So she went to play with Alphonse so they can make up their own story. Natalie said, Sinead wanted a bicycle. Why? asked Alphonse. To go to the farm to see chickens, Natalie said. But she didn't have any money, so she had to get a job. What job? said Alphonse. Why a job cleaning up pens, Natalie said. Then a caterpillar came by in a truck, said Alphonse. Okay, Natalie said. A caterpillar came in a truck and ran over the pens. And it was a mess and a disaster, Alphonse exclaimed. Sinead was so angry, she said, Eric, you ruined my job. Now how can I buy a bicycle and go to the farm? Natalie said. Is Eric the caterpillar's name? Alphonse asked. Yes, Natalie said. Eric said, I know. You can ride in my truck to see the chickens. And they drove away, honking the horn. And some of the chickens went home with them? Alphonse asked. Some did, Natalie said, and they had tomatoes in their tea. It's a good story, said Alphonse. It should be in a book. Why, said Natalie. So we could tell it again, and with pictures, said Alphonse. Let's draw the pictures anyway, Natalie said. Then Natalie told Dad what the word should say. 
and they stapled it into a book. Now can you tell it to me again, said Alphonse. And Natalie found that mostly she could read the book they'd written with Alphonse helping. A mess and a dis Natalie read. Alphonse helped. It probably says terrapins. It probably has terrapins in it.